more example of using the right hand rule to find the cross product of two, the direction of the cross product of two vectors. In this case, now we have A pointing in the plane of the page this way, but B, instead of being in the plane of the page, is pointing out of the page. Uh, and we want to find the direction of A cross B. So again, we're going to use our right hand rule, but we're going to start by using uh, just some logic about the fact that C, whatever direction C points in, it must be perpendicular to A and perpendicular to B, which is out of the page. So what that means is that in this case, C cannot point either into the page or out of the page, because then it would be parallel to B, right? It wouldn't be perpendicular to B. Not only that, whatever direction C points in, it can't even have any component into the page or out of the page. It must be completely perpendicular to the into the page or out of the page directions. So that means C must lie somewhere in the plane of the page so that it's perpendicular to B. And also, C must be perpendicular to A. C is perpendicular to both A and B. And what that means logically is that really C can only lie in one of two directions. So it could either point off this way in the plane of the page, because that would be perpendicular to A, or it could go off this way in the plane of the page, because that would be perpendicular to A, and both of them will be perpendicular to B, because B is into the page. Uh, sorry, B is out of the page. So, uh, the only question is which way? Does C point this way or does C point this way? And to figure that out, we're going to use our right hand rule. So remember, what we're going to do is put our fingers in the direction of A, and make sure you use your right hand, not your left. So our fingers are going to go in the direction of A. Our palm is going to point in the direction of B. So B is pointing out of the page. B I'm picturing is sticking out like this. And I want to be able to fold A into B through, in this case, a 90 degree angle. So I fold A into B, and when I do that, my thumb points off this way. So what I found is that in this case, C points in this direction.